Now, what exactly do you do at this security company? Make coffee, sort mail. But, but not full-time. Not even part-time consistently. They somehow got along without coffee or mail in July and August. How much do you make there? Enough. How much is your rent? I pay my rent. And when was the last time you were late? Never. You think that thing through your eyebrow makes you attractive? Here's the problem. There's a discrepancy between the obligation of Mr. Palmgren's guardianship and the management of your finances. There's no discrepancy or problem. It was clear to him I could manage my own finances. That's not clear to me. I'm not a child. No, you are not. But you were. And between then and now, you were committed to the locked ward of St. Stephen's, where you continued to display violent aggression. And you failed to adapt to four foster homes. Were arrested twice for intoxication, twice for narcotics, again for assault, smashing a bottle into a man's face. Oh, that's not even that long ago. Now, you may have conned Mr. Palmgren into thinking that you have changed, but when I'm looking at this, not to mention the way you're looking at me now, I don't think you have. So, the good old Mr. Palmgren days are over. Starting now, you will be given a monthly allowance. You'll provide me with receipts for your expenses. And if the numbers don't balance, I will have to assume the difference is going to drugs. I've taken care of myself since I was 10. The state has taken care of you. Miss Holanda, please, look at me. This is important. Since your behavior is elaborately documented in here, it will come as a shock to no one if I chose an alternative to the very lenient arrangement I have just outlined. Would you prefer institutionalization.